Hello everyone, this is Java Monk, and welcome to episode 62 of my survival series. So, I'm here where the last episode's farms should have been. Um, what happened? Why aren't my farms there? Hold on. And I'm still in 1.12? What is going on here? Okay, future Java Monk. You need to explain this. Why is it that I'm still in 1.12? I should be in 1.13. I was in 1.13 last episode. What happened to, the, to all the progress here? Well, when I shot you with that trident last episode, it was a temporary update. So... What does that mean? That means I gave you time to do a task that you should have done. What task would that be? Well, uh, your pro your project for this episode is kind of ruined. Okay, fine. I'm going to explain the project real quick. So, everybody, the project for this episode is we're going to build a Zamboni in the end using the waterlogged blocks from 1.13. And this Zamboni is going to be used to carry some shulkers back to the overworld. The only problem is, there is currently a dragon in the end that is in my way that I haven't killed yet, because I was supposed to do that in one in the last livestream, but I couldn't. Well, with my help, you can defeat this dragon. I haven't even practiced killing dragons yet. That's... so then you really need my help. Also, why is it that I'm doing it in 1.12? Do you seriously think a trident is going to help you? Um, sort of? Well, it wouldn't. Okay. So, fine. Here's the thing. I want you to tell me, why is it that I'm not in the full 1.13 releases? Well, the, you know the feature where you move a waterlogged block and it creates new water? The, the main feature behind your Zamboni design? Uh, yeah? That's been removed. What? You're kidding me, right? I'm afraid not. Fine. So, how are we gonna actually make that Zamboni? Once you kill the dragon, I'm putting- I'm gonna bring you to the snapshots. I'm gonna throw a half-update trident at you. Okay. And then what? Then you build the Zamboni. And then once that Zamboni goes all the way to the nearest end city, then I will f update you to update you to the full release. Okay, that works. But first, you have to kill the dragon. Yes, I do. Okay, let me gear up for the dragon fight. So, future Java Monk, what exactly are you gonna do again? I will film your dragon fight, and I will also. I will also save you when you fall. Well, that's good, because I didn't bring my elytra. Well, it's a good thing I'm there to save you. Okay, so I'm going to run into the end. you got to follow in behind me, just in case I fall off immediately. Indeed I will. Okay, so... All you got to do is just film the fight and save me? That's it. I can't help you any more than that. Very well. Let's do this. Let's go.
Okay, future Java Monk, I appreciate your help and all, but all you've done really so far is completely mess with my game. How so? Most of that dragon fight was spent with me wearing no armor. It all broke. Yeah, is there a problem with that? Yeah, I'm not supposed to survive that sort of thing. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so... Thanks for the help and all, but I actually didn't die at all that boss fight, even though I spent most of it without armor on. So, now what? Now what? You gear back up, and you go out there and build that Zamboni. I'm gonna move you into the snapshots, once, you get, once we get to the end. Okay. Sounds good. Let me get the materials for the Zamboni. Very good. I can help with that. Actually, please don't help with that. I, I got all these materials myself. I even have gazillions of slime blocks to, to build this Zamboni, as well as plenty of shulker boxes full of pistons and observers. I think I can do this. Okay, suit yourself. Wait just one minute. How is there an Ender Dragon in the end? I killed this dude! There's two, still the two exit portal frames. How in the world is there a dragon still alive over here? Seriously. How? Okay. Now that that extremely bizarre occurrence is, is figured out, I'm going to log out and log back in, start my armor vendors, and then it's time to build up this Zamboni. And future Java Monk has already, already talked to me about this, and the plan is, uh oh, the plan is not to look at an Enderman. <laughs> okay. The plan is that I'm going to build this Zamboni in 1.12 and then update to 1.13, or at least the, the earliest 1.13 snapshot in which it would actually work, that being 18W16A. I'm going to update to that when to actually make the Zamboni work. And then update to the full 1.13 release once the Zamboni is done working. Better question to ask is, why is my skin gone? So, here I am in Snapshot 18W16A, which is really the first, or kind of the final stable snapshot where this is a feature. Now, the feature that I use here, and the reason why there is water spilling out all the way back here, and... Also, the way this Zamboni even works, I can definitely see why this was actually removed. Even though I'm hardbroken, I can definitely see why this was removed. So, here's the feature that I'm taking advantage of here. Ooh, well. So, there's a... This fence is now waterlogged. As you can see right there, waterlogged true. So, if we power this piston, check out what happens. Now there's a water, water source block over here. If we retract this piston, now there's a water water source block over here. So I really I really wish that this was still a feature because it was a because it's the reason why this Zamboni works. And in fact, I'd had I've had to completely redesign the 3D printer because this was removed. But I can definitely see why, even though this is absolutely amazing. So. I suppose that was removed at the same time that you were, that it became possible to actually break the water source blocks. So, given this feature, I then went off and designed a Zamboni that basically generates a frosted ice ice highway using using this feature using this right here to create in infinite water sources and spontaneously create them which then solidifies a five block wide highway or platform. Meanwhile, it also pulls behind this thing, which actually is two waterlogged fences that create a water source block in the middle between here. But then the other two water sources that would be created by this fence are immediately removed with this gold block so that only this one line of frosted ice is created, followed by armor stands that would freeze all this ice. So. Not exactly the most compact contraption in the world, but it's certainly, I think, the coolest. So, 
if you update that piston, then it just creates a nice highway. So there we go. This is what we're going to build. This is really distressing. Oh no. He just ate, my, ate that shulker box. Thank goodness he didn't destroy it. Okay. This is really distressing. Because, hold on. Is this portal still active? Yes. So how is there a dragon still here? Oh no. I just realized something. In the live stream, I messed with with the with the NBT data of this world, and I think I broke the dragon in doing so. Let me see what I can do to fix this problem. So here's the fix I tried to make, and that is basically set it so that the game thinks that I already killed a dragon. So now, once that is a fast dragon. Okay, so once this guy dies, I'm going to test and see if if the dragon will keep trying to respawn. Dragon stopped respawning. Hooray! I got a couple end portal, end gateway portals out of that, but the point is, the dragon stopped respawning, and that's a good thing. So now, you can nice and safely unpack the toolbox and begin work on the Zamboni. Hopefully future Javamon can come around and film this, because this will be quite a... Okay then. This will be quite an interesting little project.
Mr. Javmunk? I can't see you. And must be really buggy today. Well, anyways, the construction of the Zamboni is now finished. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse there. So, yeah, I, I seem to have attracted quite an angry fan base over here of Enderman. But now I need to actually go into 18W16A in order to actually waterlog these fences and make this functional. Then once that happens, I can add in an armor stand in, in each of those three pockets that I have for armor stands. Because otherwise they would just fall, right, fall straight through at the moment, and that's not helpful. So, um, future Java Monk, I think now's the time that you throw that whatever... Whatever trident it is. The half update. Yeah, the half update trident. Here goes. Ouch! What was that for? Welcome to 18W16A. This is pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, is your aim really that bad? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Well, now's the time to waterlog these fences. And also get the Zamboni running. I'll film you. Okay, thanks. Well, that sure was noisy. So, now let's see. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna quickly put on my Frostwalker boots and see if this was even worth it. Let's see. Break all this frosted ice here. Okay. I'm just going to frost up this whole. this whole thing here. Uh, I think I need to get past here. There we go. And now time to waterlog these fences as well. So here we go. Uh, future Java Monk, can you can you see me? Nope. Not ah, damn. Okay. Here we go. So now we have all the all the water in place. Um, the water for the for the mid barriers don't seem to be. Don't seem to be working all that well. So, um, can you help with that? I'll do my best. I don't have access to future technology, but I'll do my best. Also, where did my skin go? Better question is, where did my skin go? Hmm. Weird. Well, anyways. Here we go. Time to... Whoa. And Shulker Box has turned really bright purple. Check this out. That is just ridiculous. I hope the shulkers themselves aren't like that. They probably are in the snapshot. Yes, they are. Well, time to make this run a little bit further so that way I can put in the armor stands for the for the for the railways of this ice highway. And then you can do the ultimate shot of do the ultimate time lapse of this Zamboni moving. Okay, getting ready.
Okay, the Zamboni has reached its destination. So now time to take this take this mechanism apart, which can be done fairly easily. I just gotta remove all these infinite water sources and also remove all the water that's making the that's making this um making the waterlogged blocks work. Here we go. And now I just gotta whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's see, remove it from these waterlogged blocks. There we go. Okay. And now I'm just gonna remove all this water here so that way all this water way over here can can finally can stop flowing all the way out to wherever. I'm also gonna do a quality check on the ice that this created because this because well first I am disheartened by the fact that this ability to move waterlogged blocks was removed. I'm also quite happy about it because it's really not very not very intuitive as to when the when the water sources would be created and when they would not be. Also, Frostwalker was completely inconsistent, so this thing broke at least ten times along this entire path. But altogether, it worked pretty well. So now I'm just gonna take off this take off these boots, put on these boots, and finish off this finish off this frosted ice here. There we go. Okay. There we go. And bam. Uh okay. Here we go. Done. There goes all that water and it should it should stop flowing out right about now. Just as soon as I remove this waterlogged fence over here. There we go. And bam. Okay. All the water should now be disappearing. Let's just remove this waterlogged block there. Okay. And now this miles long trench of water is going to start disappearing. So, now that the <clears throat> now that the Zamboni has made it, I took down I took it down and now now all I got to do is kind of curve this ice highway up over here. I'm going to put in a bubble column over here so that way I can transport the shulkers from this end city upwards to this ice highway and then transport them the 4,000 blocks all the way back to the end portal. At which point begins the process of actually unloading those shulkers. So I also have to put in a mechanism at the end of that ice highway so that way I could unload the easily unload the shulkers. But I think I think we'll burn that bridge when we get there. First things first, we gotta get the shulkers out of this end city. And that is no easy task. I'm gonna need to run back to the run back to my house, or run back to the mansion to get the materials for a bubble column and also get the and <clears throat> as well as swap out my gear for non thorns and a bunch of other stuff. But the but first things first, I need to call up future Java Monk so that he can update me to the full one point thirteen. Okay. Lots and lots of progress has just been made on this little project to get the get the shulkers out of this end city here. So looks like the shulkers are still a still a weird color, even though the shulker boxes are perfectly normal. How bizarre! Anyways, these shulkers are now actually able to shoot me because they weren't back in pre-release five when I was actually building this little platform out. So I have an extended platform. Let's just shoot this bullet. Bam. Uh oh. Okay, looks like the shulkers are already fighting each other. That's not good. That means shulkers are gonna end up dying. Anyways, I extended out this these platforms here so that way they I can just drop shulkers straight from the towers there. So now comes the task of getting all of the shulkers into these boats. Okay, success there. And now I'm just gonna break the block here until it lands on the floor like that. And now, there we go. We now have two shulkers in a boat. And they're not able to shoot each other because they're in a boat. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. And 
gradually I'm going to get all the shulkers down on the floor over here, at which point I can then transport them up this bubble column over here, which will take them up to the ice highway and take them all the way the 4,000 blocks back to the end city, well, the, back to the end portal. At which point, we're going to need to figure out a way to get the shulkers through the end portal. Oh no. All those shulkers are going to most of the shulkers are going to end up dying. I don't want them to die. I want them I want to keep most at least some of them alive. But it doesn't seem like I'll be able to do that very easily. Especially since they all seem to accidentally hit each other and then they start fighting. Ah, oh, dang it. Lost a shulker there. And that shulker teleported. Oh boy. This is going to be way more complicated than I thought. I might even need to bring in the help of future Java Monk for this. Okay, I got most of the shulkers into boats now. So, let's now go to the side towers and try to capture as many shulkers from there as we possibly can. Uh, what happened to the Ender Pearl? Ender Pearl? Ender Pearl seem to be completely bugged out right now. So let's just trap this attempt to trap the shulker in a in a boat oh dear yeah malfunctioning and end of pearls are not exactly the greatest thing in the world so here's an idea I might as well just completely loot this place and also tear it down to the ground because there's really just because there's no point in having a in having an end city with no shulkers in it. So, I mean, I have those scattered around the end landscape, but since I manually moved all these shulkers, I will have manually moved all these shulkers out of, out of this end city, I might as well just tear this place down to the ground. So as you can see here, hopefully, I have now rescued 11 bright purple shulkers from the end city, all stuck in boats, some of which, some of which also have endermen, some of which also have endermen passengers who I will unfortunately have to kill, because they will be, they will get in the way of transporting these shulkers back to the overworld. Okay. So once I'm done killing all these, all these boat endermen, just like that, now begins the very, 
the tedious task of transporting all of these shulkers along the ice highway back to the over back to the end portal. Okay. Here goes nothing. The first shulker. I will now transport this shulker over to the bubble column. This is a super easy way to transport shulkers, by the way. Because shulkers are one of the easiest mobs to actually trap in a boat. So, transporting them manually like this is one of the easiest ways to transport shulkers. Plus, the shulker can't actually hit me. At least I don't think so, anyways. So, bubble columns made this so much easier because now, all I gotta do is take this, take this shulker along a little path here over to this bubble column. So, here we go. And now, all we gotta do is just step onto the soul sand here, and then we just get shot upwards onto the ice highway. So, now, it's time to transport this shulker back to the end portal. So, this shulker is about to go along, go on a 4,000 block journey. But that'll happen pretty quickly. So, I'm not going to time lapse this. There's already been four of those. So, I'll just get back to you once I transported all of the shulkers back to the end portal. The first shulker is now back at the end portal. That was a relatively, that was relatively easy. So now what we have to do is actually prepare this bedrock portal, so that way I can just drop the shulker straight from that ice highway right down to here, break him out of the boat, and then the shulker will be basically sitting on its side against this bedrock column, at which point I can use a piston to push him in, because that is the only way to get shulkers in back to the overworld. So to pull that sort of thing off, yeah, these super bright purple shulker boxes, I'm guessing those are also not going to be as bright purple when they're... Huh. Interesting. So, the thing about shulkers is that they can only attach themselves to solid surfaces. So, for example, they cannot teleport onto these buttons, because they're not solid. They also are not going to be able to teleport to slabs. They're also not going to be able to teleport directly onto a portal. Chests and chests and the chests and shulker boxes I'm not entirely sure about, but I'm not about to... I mean... I'm sure I could probably just cover this entire area with player heads or something because I have my everyday use data pack and built in such a way that I can convert shulker boxes into player heads and, and then vice versa. And player heads are definitely not solid. Well, they're not, yeah, they're not solid blocks that shulkers can teleport onto. Now, this piston, however, a shulker could teleport onto one of these surfaces, and now it cannot. So now, this piston is still powerable, and that is how... So, to get the shulker to behave properly, it needs to attach itself to this surface right here, and then I can use this piston to push it right into the portal, and then it'll go to the overworld. In fact, it'll go directly to world spawn, which could mean that it could pretty much appear anywhere near world spawn. So, that is how that's going to work. So... Off camera, between episodes, I, those 9,000 shulker boxes that that future Java Monk delivered last episode, I crafted all of them into player heads. So time to get those. I didn't quite, I don't quite know how much I'll need, so I got all five shulker boxes plus this of player heads that I crafted from the shulker boxes, and that's just the 9,000 shulker boxes involved in episode 42. That's not even considering all the shulker boxes that I already have, or have not yet been crafted into shulker boxes. And that's like, four shulker shells, four shulker boxes full of shulker shells worth of shulker boxes. Lots of shulker shulkers. Okay, let's pull out these player heads here and just decorate this, decorate this whole place with my face. Because, why not? Doesn't seem like there's any particular tool that's good for player heads. Okay, here we go. Behold, my gigantic face army. That perfectly reflects my face. So, yeah. 
you see a bunch of player heads here, but in reality, these these are actually shocker boxes crafted into player heads. And the reason why I did that was because I have over 9,000 shocker boxes, and from from episode 42 when I did a bunch of item cloning. So, and because of that, I have no way to feasibly store that many shulker boxes. It is just simply too much. So, I have them crafted into player heads, which are only obtainable in creative, useless if they are obtainable in survival, accident proof, so if I accidentally place one, I can break it again, and it is unobtainable in survival. Also, it is stackable. So, basically, the perfect all the perfect that the perfect thing for to craft shulker boxes into. So now I'm going to get that one shulker off that ice highway and try to get him back to the overworld and see how it works. Here it goes. So, jumping down onto the array of faces here. Now I'm just going to move the boat over here as close as I possibly can. Oh. It actually succeeded at in hitting me. Okay, good thing I didn't have Thorn's armor. So as soon as I get down, which shouldn't be too long, assuming I don't get hit again, which of course I did. And by the way, the end pearls now work again, so yay. Now break the boat and uh. What exactly is that shulker standing on? Seriously. What is that shulker standing on? And it just teleported. Oh, there it goes. And I think it's now in the end. I didn't hear teleport again, so... I think... Just opened up into the end portal. Well, that would certainly make things easier. Let's see if that actually happened. Here we go. We are now back at the mansion, where it seems that the all the progress from last episode is missing still. So hopefully I can get Future Job Monk to remedy that situation, because I really liked last episode. Oh, and I just got whipped back. Okay. Let's go out to the world spawn and see where those shulkers are. There's the shulker. Okay, it's back in the overworld. Hooray. And now let's try to sneak up. Haha. -ha. Got him back in a boat. Okay, so now we have one shulker in a boat, unable to hit me, and bright purple. Alright. And... Okay, what happened to the to those evokers? I'm gonna get Future Java Monk over here real quick. I'm just gonna move all these shulkers back to the overworld and then gonna have Future Java Monk remedy this really bizarre situation here. Okay, I moved all 11 bright purple shulkers from the end. So now, here they are, right at world spawn. Let's just kill the spider here. There we go. And now all we gotta do is actually trap we trap all these shulkers in boats that they don't harm me anymore. Oh, it broke my boat. How could? Okay. How did? How did it break my boat? That is so weird. Uh oh. And now they're all trying to kill each other. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Very bad. Very bad. Okay. Here we go. Oh no. These dumb shulkers are killing each other. Okay, you get trapped, you are trapped, you become trapped, you, oh no, okay, at least they're not hitting each other any, oh, are you kidding me, are you absolutely kidding me, okay, note to self, don't trap more than one shulker at a time, because clearly, this isn't working. I'm betting I'm going to get that super special advancement here. Oh, I already did. 
the whole levitate from 50 blocks. Oh boy. So it looks like we're going to have to get some more bright purple shulkers. Where in the world am I going to get get more shulkers? Okay. Let's just trap these final. And I'm out of ender pearls. Yeah, at least at least ender pearls work. Okay. And also none of the shulkers in the boats can actually can actually hit me. So, yay. Now, if only I can actually stop these shulkers from trying to kill me, or kill each other, that would be great. There we go. Okay, so we lost two shulkers in that, in that firefight. Okay. So now we only have nine shulkers, and it's raining. In fact, it's thundering. Perfect! Let's go back to the end and get some... Get some more shulkers here. So now this end city has been, and all evidence of it has pretty much been removed. All the shulkers that are in the overworld, and the end city itself has been completely destroyed. So, I think that. What? I don't remember letting the Zambody run this far. Well, anyways, this episode has already been going for too long. So. Thank you for watching everyone, please tune in next Saturday for part 2 of this, because it looks like we're going to need a part 2 to figure out what in the world Future Java Monk has been up to. Because I suddenly did not build this, and yeah, this is Frosted Ice. I did not let the Zamboni run this far. So, I will see you next Saturday for episode 63, where we figure out what is going on with this ice highway. So, Thank you for watching. See you then.